Good morning. We're on a little uh, journey today. We're going to the uh, Notre Dame Cemetery in uh, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And uh, we're gonna be looking for a grave that we're going to clean the stone on. And that is going to be uh, of an Anthony Ferrucci. In 700, and is on your right, Notre Dame Cemetery. Turn That's left. Proceed to the route. Just a second. Sorry about that. So we're going to go, we're looking for the grave of an Anthony Ferrucci. And uh, we're gonna clean the headstone of Anthony. And I'll tell you more why when we find him. Now, supposedly I go to the back of the cemetery, straight to the back, and somewhere along the fence line, I'm going to find the, this grave. Now, my impression of the cemetery right off the bat is it's uh, looks like a very well laid out, uh, easy to find uh, cemetery. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna go right or left here, so I'm gonna stop by going right, and we're gonna just keep an eye out for this particular marker, so. What I'll do is I'm just gonna uh, pause the video while I try to find it, okay? Now, I don't know if it's on the right or the left-hand side, so I am going to actually uh, be back with you once I, once I locate the, uh, the grave. Thank you. It's like I was mentioning before, today I'm in the uh, Notre Dame Cemetery in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. We're looking for the grave of Anthony Ferrucci. Now I just uh, got out of the office of the cemetery because I was driving around and couldn't find the grave. And uh, I found some information out. It is along the back fence line, not too far probably from this chapel up here on the left-hand side. Now the grave uh, contains the remains of Anthony Ferrucci and his aunt, uh, Maxine Johnson. Now Maxine, from what the office told me, she bought the grave back in 1967. So that's some information that uh, we do have. So I'm gonna uh, come around this corner and gonna give a good scouring for the, uh, for the grave this time because now I know where we should find it. <clears throat> it's just a matter of uh, getting eyes on it. So I will uh, update you when I do find it. Stay tuned. Well, after doing a bunch of uh, research and had gone to the office and uh, they gave me a little diagram as far as where the, where the grave might be. Happened to be section E, lot 432. <clears throat> so I did find the grave, so let's get out and uh, get set up. <clears throat> I'm gonna get set up here and uh, to clean it and I'll put the camera back on. Okay, so having found the grave here, we have a, a marker of Ferrucci and we have uh, Anthony, which is buried here. Now Anthony was born in 1964 and he passed away in 1967. From what I understand, it was a very violent death. Uh, and the individual that caused that death uh, ended up going to prison. And then there's a Philip Ferrucci it was buried here in 1969. Looks like he might have been an infant or at least less than a year old. And then there's Maxine Bubar Johnson, who was born in 1927. And she passed away in 1982. Now, from what I understand from the office at the cemetery was that uh, Maxine purchased this grave site in 1967. So I'm not exactly sure why. Because the dates don't, uh, oh yeah, well the date jives with uh, Anthony. So his aunt Maxine, which was my father's first husband, who had a baby, Howard Johnson, that died that a uh, couple of weeks ago. I took it to his grave site. So I'm gonna get out my wet and forget. We're gonna spray this down. And uh, as a respect for these individuals that later rest here, uh, the least that we can do or I can do is uh, clean their grave. So stay tuned for a second. Thank you. 
It's a really cold day today. Uh, right now, it's 36 degrees. And honestly, uh, we're in Rhode Island, in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And so all these people here are resting in peace. We need no disrespect by coming here. I just merely wanted to clean. There's quite a bit of lichen all over this grave here. But I thank the people of the cemetery to help me find it. Now I'll check up on this grave next year at some point and uh, we'll take a look at how it's doing now that I know where it is, know where I can find it. And it should look a little different, it's not a lot different next year. The office here at uh, Notre Dame Cemetery in Pawtucket is very, very helpful in finding this. There's a lot of moss on this, a lot of lichen, a lot of uh, just uh, age, age and patina. So I'm not trying to remove, I'm not trying to destroy the, the, the quality of the stone. We're just trying to clean it up a little bit. I give it a good soak in here. Obviously, it's never been cleaned since 1967. So, once you spray it, it is kind of hard to read the stone, but we've got a good look at it beforehand. So. I'm going to put my spray away and then I'll uh, be right back. here too. I think it's a bit unusual but I'm going to take a little bit of dirt from in front of the grave. Not much, just a little bit. I'm going to put it in a bucket. Now what my intent is, I'm going to save this dirt in this bucket here from Maxine's grave. And then uh, I'll end up swinging by my stepbrother's grave. And I'm going to take a, a spoonful or a little spade full of dirt from that. Then I'm going to mix them together. And then I'm going to uh, come back to the Notre Dame Cemetery and uh, I'm going to put the dirt back here and then go to my stepbrother's cemetery and uh, I'll put the dirt there because his mother is buried here in Pawtucket and her son who died when he was uh, I don't know nine or ten months old is buried without her in Providence and because of that uh, she never got to see him she was supposed to be buried with him, but he wasn't. So, a lot of respect for the Ferrucci family and the uh, and Maxine's family, the Mubar family. Uh, I just want to let you know 
I came out here and did this today. So God bless all the people that rest here. And uh, that's the least we can do for them. Thank you. So that's it from the Notre Dame Cemetery. And uh, we're going to head on out of here. And then when I get out to the main road, I'm going to uh, shut the video off. And I'll pick you up at some point in the future. But thanks for taking a ride along today on my journey to find this. It's something I've wanted to do now for the last year, but uh, never got the chance to do so today. Ended up being the perfect day for it, even though it was uh, very cold. And I wanna thank the people here at uh, the office of the uh, Notre Dame Cemetery, which uh, helped me find this location today. Uh, oddly enough, I had driven right by it <coughs> and I had been doing a bunch of searching on my own when I ended up uh, coming across the office and they have an old index card system. And the only way they could find the grave, fortunately, was that Maxine was uh, <coughs> buried there in 1982. And uh, they list the, the graves by the owner of the grave. And uh, in this particular case, Maxine had bought the grave uh, again in 1967. So obviously she bought the grave for the death of her uh, nephew, uh, Anthony Ferrucci. So I'm leaving the North, uh, the Notre Dame cemetery. I want you to thank you for coming on this ride along with me and have a great day.